right. Today I decided to share a little bit more about myself and um my life has been crazy right now. I I wanted to work on more music and get that stuff out. Um but currently I have been in college nonstop for like three years now. I started college when I was in high school slash uh, three years of full-time college nonstop for double major. I have received 120 credits. I have a 3.85 GPA, A's and B's, mostly A's. B's are usually in the harder classes like uh, microeconomics, I think I made an A, and then macroeconomics, I made a B, even though they were very similar. There was just some slight differences, you know. Honestly, I didn't expect what happened to happen. Um, you know, since the, let's just say the reason why most people have been wearing these, uh, is going around. I'm also immunocompromised, so I can't go to physical school right now. And I know, other people have issues too. Um, last year, right after, um, like in 2020, when it first started, our, our school went online. Um, and they had no problems with it. And then that fall semester, I was able to stay online too. And that other spring semester of this year, I was able to stay online. They had no problems. The teachers were fine with it. I got my work on done on time. And I even turned in, you know, more work and more extra credit. Because again, I did the music curriculum. They wanted, you know, because you have to create music and stuff. So I did that as well. I did everything they asked of me. Um, and then this fall semester, my school tells me that, oh, we won't make an exception for you even though we made an exception for you before because of your technically disability. Um, we made an ac academic accommodation, but we decided that we won't do it this year, even though we're doing it for others. So they said that they would do it for other people, but they wouldn't do it for me after they had done it for me this entire time. Um, let's just say that I was mad um, because obviously we could, I'm, I'm vaccinated, but we could see that, um, cases were going up. And since I'm immunocompromised, I was still in a very high risk position. So we decided to look for another university because they would not bend. Um, I have a 120 credits and it, most universities will only take like 60% of my credits. So, or 50. Um, so we have been shopping around for colleges they let us know at the very end that I wouldn't be accommodated. They said, oh, everything's fine, everything's fine. And then all of a sudden they said they wouldn't do it. Um, so we bought all my school books and I can't return them. Um, so even also during the summer too, besides doing summer courses over the summer, and I haven't had a summer off in like forever, even in high school, because I was working on other stuff. Um, I was really terrified of Spanish 3 because I basically I did Spanish 1 and 2 at like uh, another university and transferred it over to the university I was going to um, because the university that I was going to main term uh, during its Spanish classes the lady would not speak English at all and she would just uh, oh you can see from my body language that I am speaking this le you know that I'm speaking about this and I was like no, because I'm autistic, since I have a hard time reading body language, it's astronomically hard to do something like that. Um, so I, I, let's just say I was dreading doing Spanish three because my university is not like other universities. Instead of two span, like two foreign languages, you have to take three. Um, so I was terrified and mortified. So. Most of the summer on Duolingo, I was going like ham, like insane on Spanish. Um, but then now it looks like I won't ever go back to this university, so I don't need Spanish 3. So what I'm doing now is I'm starting to learn Italian because eventually I do want to go to Italy. Um, I'm, I also have a grandmother who was Italian, so I might be able to claim Italian citizenship way down the line. Um, you know... But I'll, I'm going to visit the place first. But, um, honestly, I, 
Oh, this is not even the end of my struggles. So I have to turn a form in saying that separation from college form. I turn it into the right person, right? So I turn it in to the first person. It was like the vice dean of academic accommodations or something. And she's like, oh, you know, yeah, it's turned into the registrar. Even though she, there's this paper and she can just sign it. She's just like, oh, just turn it to the registrar. Um, so I turn it into the registrar. Oh, no, we don't handle that paper. Uh, give it to uh, so-and-so at the wellness center. And we give it to the wellness center and they forget about it. And then I contact them again and they're like, oh, we give it to, we gave it to financial planning. Um, it was, it was cause it took like five days to get that paper in. Uh, so that they did apologize saying, oh, we're sorry about the, you know, miscommunication and all that, but they should really tell you who to turn it into. Um, because they say, oh, turn it into so-and-so. And that person didn't know what to do with it. Um, and after that, so I, I apply for college and the one of the people that's supposed to send in the recommendation later said, oh yeah, I'm going to. I gave them a month and I said, hey, can you get it in? They're like, oh yeah, we're working on it. Can you get it in? Yeah, we're working on it. And then they don't get it in on time. So I have to call my friend, Dan. He has been wonderful to me. He's my mentor. And he he had actually had a family member that had passed away the same day. And he filled out that paper within two hours and gave it to the university that I was applying to. He, you know, he's fantastic. I, I love that. Yeah, he's made so many, he's, you can see him on my music backgrounds. He's, he's talented and a wonderful person. Um, But honestly, then the late the, the person that was supposed to send it in the original person said oh uh the link expired and i'm like if the link expired friday like you just told me shouldn't you have told me friday instead of after the deadline that I was supposed to be turned in so yeah difficulties with that too um um with all the stress from school going insane i i've been working on music like you know i said in the music update i'm still working on that stuff i will not be in nashville for a very long time because of you know obvious reasons um so i'm having to work on music at home um so it's a little harder <laughs> at home because i'm having to figure it out hey is this radio quality because you know there's certain things that sometimes you hear on other systems that you don't want to hear, um, here. And so it's going to be a while before I get something out, even though I have like a lot of the structure done, it's the mastering that's taking a while for me. Um, because again, I haven't produced an entire album myself from top to bottom scratch, including all instrumentation, um, before. So some of it's taking a while. Um, I do have an ele a complete electronic backing track that I'm working on for another song. Um, there's one good thing. Thank goodness my mom's extremely good at coaching me vocally. What happened is I used to go to um, Pitch Doctors and she sat in all the classes and she sat in so many of the classes that eventually she became like, hey, you're doing this note wrong, you're doing this note wrong. And uh, basically it she became my vocal coach. <laughs> Um, she's done a pretty good job because she's been vocally coaching me through, um, all the, most of my major songs. Uh, so she's, she's done, she's, she does a great job. Um, um, I, I love my mom. She's done a great job with me. And honestly, I'm so happy where I'm at with, you know, being able to do college and stuff because I was told I was never going to be able to live on my own because, you know, the autism. So I'm very happy I've reached this point in my life. I'm still living with my parents and I'm very happy about living with my parents. <laughs> Um, especially now, since there's like a lot of, you know, issues happening in the world. Um, it's pretty nice to be with my family. Uh, well, I also was going to talk about, I mean, I mean, these books, thank God I got them on a discount. The reason why I'm here is because my mask right there. So, um, I figured this would be a different scenery. Anyway, um, interestingly enough, uh, one of the books I got was the International Edition. 
I know China is not going to allow foreign textbooks anymore, but this is the original, this is the Hong Kong edition for this textbook. And the cover's in Chinese. Um, the rest of it is in English, although there are some Chinese in random places sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting. I was able to get this on sale because of the international edition. So that was fantastic. Um, I mean, how many, usually every single semester I was at college, I usually did like 19, 20 credits every single semester, not including me doing the music and having to go to Nashville and having to record places. Um, I have two fully recorded songs, but currently the upstairs office is in disarray and that's where Doom to Duck is at. Plus we have to put it together because we were sent by the, you know, KLP, he sent the, um, sent it like in pieces. So we're going to have to put it together. Um, so that's happening. Uh, it's going to happen. I'm hopefully I can get some more songs cause I don't want, I noticed that, uh, people want some more songs on the, um, albums because again, the reason why they were too, uh, the reason why In Love With You and Just a Cinderella Story were so short with two EP cause I was in college and I was working so hard. Um, that's all we really had time for. We had to, you know, get it done because we only had like, like two days in Nashville to do all the recording. Um, a lot of my recording, like for the vocals of, uh, Six Feet Under, it took like two sessions, but um, I had to like crank out four songs last time I went to Nashville in one session. And so, um... It, it was a lot. So I have been uh, enjoying, this has been a little bit of break because right now I, I've been in school. Um, so applying for different colleges and stuff has really uh, enabled me to just take a break for a little while, even though it is still nerve wracking um, in itself. I, um, I haven't had a break in a long time. So I have been enjoying that, um, even though I'm doing other stuff too. Um, I, just, I would like to share, like, how many masks I've made. Because I've been kind of... Um, one of my friend, Buzzy Beekeeper, was like, uh, how many, uh, like, are you going to sell them? Or is it for your personal use? These are for, for my personal use. Sometimes my mom borrows them. Again, we live in the same house. Uh, so sometimes she'll borrow one or two. But mostly they're mine. Um, and it's not going to exactly be in chronological order. But um, my newer ones are nicer than my older ones. Um, just because I got more experience um, making them. Uh, so, <laughs> it's a lot! <laughs> oh man, this box is not going to go through. Hold on. Alright, time to go through this. Uh, <laughs> so, this, this guy. Um, these two I actually made today. So I decided to make something, you know, different, you know. Um, this one. I want, um, if you're wondering what most of them consist of, either, um, like one or two cotton layers, a N95 material we got online before the pandemic began. going on um all all the craziness i've experienced right now um there's other stuff that's been happening uh but uh for now this is <laughs> this is the video um i hope you guys have a wonderful day and have enjoyed it well done